Welcome to Pull My Focus, adventures in the technical and business world of video filmmaking. Hi, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Wow, you've changed PC. Well, if you mean I've become more advanced and my operating systems are more stable and my hardware is cheaper, then yes, I have changed. Hablas espanol? And you, on the other hand, don't seem to have changed at all. Well, I've decided to branch off into other things like phones and watches and uh, cars. Yes, I know. We're here today to talk about which one of us is best for video editing and post-production. Yes, and clearly that would be me. How so? Well, I have the ability to use faster processors and graphics cards so I can render your stuff faster. But Mac OS is just a sweet environment to work in. That is true, but-, but have you seen the new iPhone? Oh, what's that? I can't hear you. Uh, there's no headphone port. Hello. Hackintosh, how are you, dear? I'm good, Dad. Dad? Hi, Dad. Wait, who's your dad? You both are. It's me, Hackintosh. I'm a custom-built PC modified to run Mac OS. I'm the best part of both of you. Uh, how's that possible? Uh, you can't run Mac OS on a PC. Ah, not true. She's living proof. How's uh, Cousin Linux, dear? How could I be a dad? I, I don't even remember. Oh my god, what have I done? Of course you don't remember. You're so busy with your watches and your phones. You stopped sending me flowers! Adios, Papa! What's the best hardware platform on which to do your video post-production? Is it a Mac? Is it a PC? Well, this question seems to come up whenever someone wants to get in the video editing game, whether it's for personal, occasional, or full-blown professional work. I'll tell you right now, I don't have the answer. Whoa, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. Make, make me big again. Whew, okay, thanks. I may not have the answer that's right for you, but I mean, at the end of the day, pretty much any computer with a decent editing package can get you through a project. But if I share with you my personal reasons, maybe that'll help guide you to a solution that suits you. Or maybe not. In that case, check out this video by Frankie Boy on how much he loves those damn Lima lights. All right, if you're still with me, let's chat about platforms. Now I've used PCs forever. I've been a Windows user since Windows 1.0. Yeah, no shit, I ain't lying. Most of the PCs I own are running Windows, but when I was a software developer in a former life, I was attracted to the Mac OS because of the similarities between it and the Linux world, which I've dabbled in, and the user interface in general. So my daily driver became my trusty MacBook Pro from 2013, back when Apple's definition of Pro aligned with mine. Yeah, I'm looking at you, MacBook 2016 dual core USB Type-C dongle monster. So it was a natural progression for me to start messing with iMovie, and then later Final Cut, and now Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'm just in love with the Mac experience. I mean, native things like Quick Look and the way the Finder works has got me hooked. I know, I know. You can add extensions to Windows to do the same thing or better, but I just rather use Mac OS. But when our client work ramped up and I got faster as an editor, my old Mac seemed to be lagging behind. That's when I decided to build an HTPC slash rendering workhorse. Now this machine is primarily focused on gaming and virtual reality as I have an HTC Vive and I've installed an NVIDIA GTX 1080 card. It sits in the living room hooked up to the 4K TV so my son and I can play Steam games, but I also use it as a rendering station, occasionally opening my completed Premiere projects on it and having it render video four times faster than my Mac. After a while, I wanted to have more speed for my working machine, not just for my rendering machine but it looked like my only options were to shovel out a ton of money for the fastest Mac I can buy from Apple or give up Mac OS completely and build a super fast and much cheaper PC with Windows since the Adobe suite of software runs on both Mac and Windows. But wait, there's another option. A Hackintosh is simply any non-Apple hardware that has been hacked to run Mac OS. Now, before we go any further, you need to know a very important thing. Installing Mac OS anywhere other than on official Apple hardware violates Apple's EULA for the software. Apple will not give you any support if things go catastrophically wrong. They can disable your Apple ID or even send a lawyer to your door. We know where you live. Now this video isn't on how to build it. Check the links in the description for that. But I'll give you a general idea of how it's done. 
first, I had to consult some online forums which lists Mac compatible non-Apple hardware. If you've never built a PC from scratch on your own, this might not be for you. Once I found and purchased all the equipment that has been blessed with compatibility with Mac OS, I built the PC. Then in a nutshell, I had to download the version of Mac OS that I wanted to run for my existing MacBook and put it and some other software on a USB stick, then boot from that drive on the PC. The software will install Mac OS on the PC. You also need to tweak some settings in your BIOS. Once again, if all this sounds new to you, let me suggest going to apple.com and purchasing an actual Mac. After some configuration and a small problem getting my audio working, which was cleared up by visiting the Hackintosh forums, I have a PC that boots into Mac OS. In some basic benchmarks, I found the Hackintosh to render Premiere projects twice as fast as my MacBook Pro. All tasks like scrubbing through the timeline, rendering previews, and overall peppiness of the system are much faster. My old HTPC rendering machine that I mentioned earlier renders my Premiere projects about the same speed as the new Hackintosh. Now I've noticed that if I have a project that heavily uses effects that utilize the GPU performance of the machine, then the HTPC wins every time as it's fitted with a GTX 1080 graphics card and my Hackintosh only has a GTX 980. So, do I have the best of both worlds? Well, almost. I'm not giving up my MacBook Pro since one update from Apple could render the Hackintosh inoperable. So it's gonna require a bunch more maintenance than actual Mac, but Overall, I'm very pleased with the performance that I'm getting. As a final word, I would say it's really up to you how deep in the rabbit hole you want to go. If you're looking for a Mac OS based system and want to spend very little time building and troubleshooting, I'd say pay the Apple tax and buy the fastest Mac you can find. If you're a little savvy with Windows, you could probably have a PC configured for you that's faster and cheaper than a compatible Mac. And if you've gotten your hands dirty and built a couple of custom PCs in your day, then I'd say pick your parts build your own and try running some alternative operating systems. Like a Hackintosh. That's, that's what the wink was for. Okay. Either way, no hardware or software in the world is gonna stop you from writing that awesome script or building your amazing YouTube channel. It's just a means to an end. That's it, once again, thanks for watching. Remember to check out our website at pullmyfocus.tv to see all the videos and articles from Pixel Valley Studio. Also, throw us a like or that other one, if you care to hurt me. Subscribe, and until next time. We know where you live.